Hey guys, Trip Tiller here again with Analog Way Tech Support. Today I want to go over building a multiple output screen and using the canvas and all that's, in, that's involved in getting that up and going. So to start, let's check out what firmware I'm on, firmware 4477. And reminder that if yours looks a little different, um, it's probably just you're on a different firmware, but all the same basic supply. So cool, if you remember from my screens video, uh, building a screen is the same way, so let's do that. Only this time I'm going to add two outputs, one and two, to keep it simple. Cool, and let's add a couple layers. And remember, I'm on split layers, so they gave us two versus mixer layers, one. So let's start with split layers. And first thing I do when I'm, well, I'll go and look at the screen, and I can tell that I don't have the width that I'm looking for. My canvas isn't looking how I'm expecting it. So first thing you want to do is go check out your canvas tab. And that's under pre-config, canvas, and screen one canvas. And you'll see a lot of different things here. And basically, once you're on the canvas, you have a couple different options. You can turn on your canvas pattern. Um, which goes over your whole canvas, but first let's let's fix why we're only seeing one nineteen twenty by ten eighty canvas when I set up two outputs. So a couple ways of doing this. Um, for me, the easiest way is just going to grid here. You might have it set up on free, where you can move it freely like that. But for me, the easiest thing is to just go to grid. Um, and do a two by one and sometimes I think it it snapped automatically snapped over on this side because I'd already had it like that before if you put in your two by one grid and it might look like let me see here well it might be overlapping um, and basically what you'll want to do is just define which side you want on the left side, which side you want on the right side. And so you'll see by me dragging that uh, a second ago, I kind of made a mistake by my output two is on the left side, my output one is on the right side now. And that's not what I want. I want it to be different. So you can either move them this way and switch them around, or you can drag from here. I want output one here, output two there, or I want output two here. I put one there, um, and that just sets up your canvas here to be in the correct order that you're expecting it. And you'll also notice your overall um, pixel count canvas size, 3840 by 1080. Um, so a couple things to look at in here. Let's say this is a projector. If you click on these little markers, this is gonna where you're gonna go in, into the blending of it, um, or if you're doing LED walls, let's say these are LED walls and you want a gap in between there, um, you can put that gap to represent the distance between your two walls. Um, a lot of different things you can do in the canvas. The main thing I use it for often is just setting up my canvas, doing a overall canvas test pattern across the entire canvas um, so, so let's go back and build this screen real quick so I'll put a couple things on layers and put to so okay and if you remember from my other video why we have this out of capacity thing um, I'm getting out of capacity because let's see here my inputs are capacity to inputs even though two and four they're capacity to inputs even though they're getting 1080 signals so let me change those to capacity one
I should have set this up beforehand, but these are the kind of things you might run into, and it is good to try and figure it out. And this was just a quick little layer setup you could do. If you have multiple layers, they give you cascading mode, mosaic. Um, this is just me getting the layers aligned really quickly. But you also have alignments down here you can do. All of your layer adjustments set to full screen, align it to the top left, layer size, the one-to-one -one ratio. I often use that. A lot of easy ways to move your layers around. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, let me get this on screen so you can see. There we go. Cool, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, two screen, two output screen. All the magic happens in the canvas. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, have anything else you want me to go over, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.